Randy Bachman, and a wild story on how American Women, that great number one song, got invented. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. You know, two things about American Woman. The first of all, how'd you get that guitar sound, and what do you mean when it was it, it, it came as an accident on on stage? Okay, I had a '59 Les Paul, which had a Bigsby on it. So if you know what that is, the strings got to go under this thing, and the Bigsby is like a wang bar. To change the string on that, you need to be a major scientist. You got to lay it down, take off the old string, put the new string on bend the new string, put it over the bridge, under the bar, over another bar, over onto a little nipple, so your string bead fits on the nipple. We're playing the gig in Kitchener-Waterloo uh, in a curling arena, curling rink, which had a bond spiel going. They actually put plywood on the ice. <laughs> and I break a string. And we did three sets. So we're near the end of a set. Burton says, Randy broke a string, we've got to take a break. I had no tuner, no roadie, no spare guitar. I then get my guitar, I get a string, I put it on my lap. I'm kneeling on the stage. Burton, I have nothing to tune to. I'm tuning to Burton's electric piano. I'm hitting bong, 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 bong. I'm playing. So when I tune the guitar, it's like this. So I'm playing this on stage. And I start to go. And all the heads in the audience turn around and look at me and I go, OMG, I got to keep playing this or I'm going to forget it. So I keep playing it. And I look in the audience. We're on a break. Burton's out the back buying comic books from a guy's trunk in his car. I could see outside because it's February and it's a full moon. And, you know, Canada in the winter, it's lit up like light blue outside from the full moon. I get the, the drummer on stage. Gary Pitty starts to play. Jim Cale comes on stage. And when we were all done our break and time to start the next set, we'd go and start the next song in the set. And the other guys would drift to the stage because you're talking to friends and family and stuff. We're playing the song. Burton doesn't realize it's us. And somebody says to him, why aren't you on stage with the band? And he goes running on stage. Going, what is this? What is this? I'm jamming. Listen to this riff. I'm singing anything. And he's saying, American woman, stay away from me four times. That was the song. That's crazy. Then he came the next day and he said, I'd like to add some stuff. Can I put in war machines? Because it was Vietnam. They were drafting everybody. Can I put ghetto scenes? We thought we grew up in a ghetto in Winnipeg. There's nothing like seeing a ghetto in Mississippi with guys living in tin shacks on stilts, picking cotton for a dollar a bale. The bale was gigantic. It weighed like 50 pounds and they have to pick it for a dollar. Um, so out came ghetto scenes. The colored lights can hypnotize of Broadway. And out came this song. Just a total jam all in one chord. Do you get asked about that song more than, or is it American Woman? What do you get asked the most? That, uh, American Woman, and You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet, yeah. which were all three mistakes. All three of them were instantaneous mistakes that no matter how hard you try to craft a tune, you're crafting a tune. When it falls in your lap and you go, wow, this looks amazing. Do you like this? Oh, we love it. We love it. We love it. It's cool. It's fun. You can sing along. You can dance with it. People like, they like the mistakes. I like a lot of the Beatles mistakes. I, you know, I'm a Beatle fan maniac. And the stuff that they did by accident, that John Lennon trying to sound like the Dalai Lama swinging on a swing at the top of Tibet in Tomorrow Never Knows and how they achieved that stupid request makes the whole song. It's amazing. So, yeah, I get asked about those songs all the time. Now, keep in mind the entire interview, and the link is in the bottom in the description of this video. If you want to see the whole thing, it's on our sister channel, Rock History Book. It's also going to be a podcast, and the links are in the description as well. Make sure you comment on our videos. You know we read all the comments. Subscribe to our channel. It's so important to us. And of course, spread the word. Let people know. And share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take good care of yourself.